There's a story about a really courageous woman in 1 Samuel 1, and her name is Hannah. She was living with the grief and pain of infertility, the longing for a child, and on top of that, had another woman in her life who was basically drilling nails into her place of wounding. And in her distress and pain, Hannah made a decision on how she was gonna navigate through her grief. It says that in her bitter distress, Hannah prayed to the Lord and wept many tears. In many of our stories, it might read, Hannah prayed to the Lord and then turned to alcohol or started overeating or her heart became hard and numb or she isolated from people or she gave up hope. But what she did with her pain was she brought it to the Lord and gave herself permission to grieve. The grieving are precious to my heart. They're precious to God's heart. And I want to say to you, no matter what triggered your grief, there's a safe place for it in prayer. There's a difference between pouring out your heart to God and lashing out at God. But the healthy grief process includes pouring out your heart to God, putting your pain into prayer and allowing that place of prayer and encounter with God to burrow through the dark tunnel of grief and bring you out into the light. After she pours out her heart to God, she conceives a child, Samuel, which means God hears. She was brave to bring her voice into prayer and God heard her and birthed redemption in her story.